Hi there, welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France. This is Freddy Frogs, Certified Ableton Trainer. Today, we're going to add new shortcuts to live. Shortcuts that don't exist yet in live, but yet we're using these functions very much indeed. So let's add these shortcuts. But well, shortcuts, you know all about it, don't you? They speed up our workflow. I mean, it's so useful to be fluid when you're creating music, to be able to express your ideas quickly so that the next idea, when it comes, you're able to, you know, initiate it straight away. So, you know, shortcuts, you have to force yourself to use them a little bit at first, but then they, they, they become second nature. Now, if you go over to the menus in live, every time there's a function that has a shortcut, you see the shortcut is written right in front of it so you can teach yourself really quickly how to use these shortcuts if you're looking for a list of shortcuts you could go to the actual manual and down at the very bottom of the manual you have a keyboard shortcut list there it is cool so that's that's cool enough you can also buy one of these skins you know the uh, um, keyboard skins and you, you add that to your keyboard and you can that way uh, remember the shortcuts quickly however there are shortcuts that don't even exist look freeze track doesn't have a shortcut flatten doesn't have a shortcut i use these functions all the bloody time i'd love to have a shortcut for that another one uh collect all and save see i mean i always collect and save my uh, my documents at the end of a session so I always use that, so there's no shortcut for that. So this tutorial, I have to say, is only for Mac users. I wouldn't know how to do it on PC. I'm not even sure you can, but on a Mac, I know how to do it, so I'll show it to you, and I know a lot of you are using Macs these days. So if I go over to the Apple uh, menu here, so now I've, I've been in France for a while now, so my Mac is in French. However, you know, the menus reflect what you've got in an English system. So you go to keyboard here and then shortcuts, okay, raccourci in French, and then uh, um, application shortcuts down at the bottom of the list here to the left, all right? Then you hit the plus button, go choose Ableton Live among your applications, and write down the name of the menu. So that's freeze track, okay? And that's think that's exactly how it's written in Ableton Live. We can go and check, actually. Let's go do that. Uh, freeze track. Yeah, that seems to be all right. Yeah, freeze track. Cool. Now, I'm going to choose a shortcut that's not yet used in Ableton Live or by my system, by the way, by my um, um, OS. Yeah. So, common Y seems to be a pretty good option. I'm going to add that and then keep click plus again and I've got flatten now so I'm gonna write flatten I think it's two T's to flatten I'm just gonna go and check again it's gonna be written exactly the same way yeah flatten that's right and another cool shortcut is common G since that's not being used there you go now collect all and save let's finish with that one I'm gonna add that so collect all and save yeah, that seems to be all right. Now, Command Alt Shift S seems to be a good option since, you know, it's very near Command S or Command Shift S. Okay, cool. Well, I don't even need to close that to try it. I think it's going to work straight away. Right, so I've got a clip here. I'm going to add a, some kind of effect on it so you can hear that it's been flattened. There you go. So you can hear it's going left to right with the auto pan. Now I'm going to hit Command Y, Bing, frozen. Command J, G, sorry flatten that's it now it's been flattened look yeah that's been removed and that's been flattened okay that works now command alt shift s there you go i'm in the export menu i can save my document and gather all the clips and uh, and uh, files um amazing no <laughs> now you can go over to uh, the edit menu and look the new shortcuts have been added to the menus yeah that's how integrated these changes are they, they actually come up on Ableton Live's menu now yeah I was looking for that for quite a while mate so now you can freeze and flatten at will you can uh, collect all and save I'm sure that there's there are other uh, functions. I think, look, convert, harmony, convert to new MIDI track, slice to new MIDI track. All of that, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Now, what doesn't work are the contextual menu uh, options. Say crop clip here or even here, crop uh, crop sample. That doesn't work. These are contextual menus, and, and so the integration doesn't go as far as that. Okay, But all the menus that are written down in the uh, main uh, top menus here that would work i believe all right good i'll see you soon on another tutorial for fast lane bye